Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. From a fuel economy standpoint, the main advantage of a manual shift transmission over an automatic uh, has always related to the torque converter. That's because the torque converter, which is a hydraulic coupling, always has slippage in it, whether you're taking off or driving down a road 50 miles an hour. And that slippage sacrifices fuel economy. Even though back in the 50s, a Packard Ultramatic actually had a lockup torque converter, this slipping condition uh, was prevalent for a long time up until the 70s and the fuel crush. Because of that, the OEMs decided they had to do something to uh, gain fuel economy, and that's what uh, prompted them to release lockup torque converters. The initial torque converters were simple on-off type that you would, the vehicle would get up to 30, 35 miles an hour. It would lock up, giving you the effect of a standard shift clutch. Uh, not a problem. As time went on though, the OEMs had to uh, further gain fuel economy and they did this by lowering the point at which it'll lock up. That resulted in a lot of different computer strategy, a different type of uh, friction material inside the converter and each OEM had their uh, own approach to how to do that. When you put a lockup into uh, uh, operation at a lower speed, you can end up with uh, engine buck, chugging, uh, shutters, and so on, torsional vibration as well. One of the OEMs, uh, Toyota, also came out with their own system called FlexLock. And there have been some issues with that system as well. Uh, FlexLock involves uh, computer programming, the torque converter itself, uh, valve body and solenoid operation, uh, ATF, and uh, even mounts. You can have an issue with FlexLock that can involve any of these components. You can have an off mode or full on mode or an intermittent mode and the flex lock problem can result as the vehicle uh, upshifts to a certain speed, light to moderate throttle, you can get this quick shutter. Uh, different vehicles have had this problem. Uh, we're actually going to be showing some of the TSBs that have been released by Toyota relating to this problem. So if you have a Toyota that has flex lock and the customer complained of a intermittent shutter feel, uh, especially at light to moderate throttle, uh, you're going to have to go through and do what is recommended in the TSBs, whether it's computer reprogramming, uh, replacing the torque converter, uh, do it a fluid change. Uh, if somebody put the wrong fluid in, that can cause an issue, as well as uh, valve body or solenoid wear. It is an issue. It's not easy to fix sometimes, but refer to the TSB for the vehicle initially uh, to see what is involved. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.